Here we are in our QuickBooks Online test company file using the accountant view as opposed to the business view. You can toggle between the two views by going to the cog up top and switch the view down below. Duplicating some tabs to put reports in like we do every time. Right click in the tab up top to duplicate it. Right click in the duplicated tab to duplicate it again. Back to the tab to the middle. Reports on the left. We want the balance sheet report. And then we're going to tab to the right, this time reports on the left, and change it up to the income statement, otherwise known as the P&L, the profit and loss, close the ham boogie. We're going to look for the month of March this time to get a clean report, 01, 01, not 01, 03, 01, 23, to 03, 31, 23, and nothing's in it, that's what we want, perfect. Tab to the middle, closing up the boogie. Ranging it from uh, 030123 to 033123 and run it and nothing's in that one. Let's tab to the left. We're now going to look at the location tracking. Now just a quick recap. We've been looking at these tools that are kind of over and above the normal kind of double entry accounting system adding another dimension typically a column to the income statement in chronological order starting with the jobs or sub customers which are found in the customer area over here and then we went to the classes and then we went to the projects and now we're looking at location tracking and next time we'll look at the tags however if you're going to group these together as more similar tools you would think of the jobs or sub customers similar to projects because they're linked to a customer and then the other three classes location tracking and then tags as being similar in nature so this will be similar to the classes so when you're thinking about projects remember you're thinking about something that ties to a customer you're breaking out the income statement by customer which will include the projects as well as the sub customers and then when you're thinking about tags location tracking and the the classes you're thinking about assigning a separate class to break out your income statement by these separate things, classes, location, tracking, and the, the tags. So we can turn this on as we saw in prior presentations by going to the cog up top and account and settings. So then we go to the advanced. Within the advanced settings, we're gonna go into the categories where we have the class tracking and location tracking, opening it up. We talked about class tracking in a prior presentation. That's the older tool. Location tracking is copying a lot basically from the class tracking and adding a few things to it that are a little bit different than the class tracking. When we think about these two tools in our normal like profit and loss reporting situation, they do similar things. We're going to assign a class or location tracking. We're looking at our profit and loss report, and we would like to be able to break out another uh, kind of component, breaking out columns of our profit and loss report, as we saw with the class tracking, breaking it out by class. Now, if we've already broken stuff out by class, then then we want to do it we want to do something else to break out our profit and loss by something else other than class then we might have to then move to location tracking or the use of the tags is one reason why we might use uh, location tracking just for our reporting components here so if i go to my class tracking now notice that location tracking from a reporting standpoint is actually a little less robust than the class tracking because the class tracking allows you to to have this option to break out a class per line item as opposed to each the whole transaction be assigned to one class so every transaction has at least two accounts affected you can assign at least one of those accounts the, the income account usually uh if you have multiple income accounts to multiple line items or multiple different classes which is useful when you're allocating expenses for example so you have more flexibility there with the class tracking, whereas the location tracking, the entire transaction is going to be applied to a particular location. The location tracking, however, has a little, a few different options when you, when you add uh, the locations for some of the internal reports and the reports that you're going to be sending out uh, to clients that, that might be some, a reason to use the location tracking that's a little bit outside possibly. Uh, than just trying to track your profit and loss report. So we'll take a look at that. 
Notice that if you hit this drop down, you've got location, division, department, uh, prop, uh, property. So whatever you choose here doesn't mean that you necessarily have to use it for that function. That primarily means that's what's going to show up when you search for like the classes here. When you search for location, it's going to show up by location if you use location as the name. But if you wanted to use it for something other than that, just for another tool to break out your columns according to something other than than the classes, and that's what you're using it for, then you could use it for something other than, you know, whatever the name happens to be uh, here. So that's going to be the general idea of the location tracking. We will uh, turn it on. So we're going to save it. And so I'm going to close this out. And then in order to list your locations, you can go to the cog up top. I would go to all lists and then look at your uh, locations, locations. And then I've added two here, California and Nevada. Let's add some sub locations just to get a feel for how this might work. So if I said new item, I can say this is, let's say this is location one for California. I'm going to make it a sub location here now. So I have uh, California to sub location of California. And then you've got these other options that you don't have on the class tracking. So this location has different titles for, uh, for the sales form. So on the sales form, maybe you have a different title. So I'm going to say location title title one this location has a different company name when communicated with customers so this is going to be california name right it has a different name and that gives you that flexibility for those external this location has a different address so now we're going to say california address this location has a different email address and then this location has a different phone so which is of course five 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 so, so that's so some more of the documentation that you might be providing to to uh, the client has some more of that detail. So I add a new one just so I can have location two L two California, and I won't add all the other sub stuff here, and save that. Now, if I look at my forms, then if I open this back up and I say plus and an invoice, which is typically a form that would go out to a client. And if I was to make the invoice, let's just say customer number one, and I don't add a location here, then let's take a look at the preview of it. So we want to say print preview of this invoice. And you can see up top, you got the test company. That's my file name and the address and so on uh, on the invoice. If I close this back up and now I've got my location, if I assign it to that location, uh, location one and I'm gonna say okay I, and now let's take a look at the preview print preview then it's got th those changes that I made for the address and so on up top in the name so that uh, is something that's for kind of internal use that the location tracking does a little bit differently than then using location tracking just to break out basically your profit and loss report. So that's another kind of use of the location tracking. Also just realize the location tracking on the downside doesn't have as, as nice an integration with payroll. You would think with location tracking, you would be able to assign particular employees to that location. You don't have as much option to do that. You do have the option with class tracking.